think that depends from investor to investor. Um, you certainly have some uh, investors who, by the nature of them, their, their mandate, are quite short term. Uh, hedge funds, for example, tend to take you know, big positions over relatively short time frames. Um, some of the long only institutional money is extremely long term, actually, in the way that they think. Um, so, you know, one fund manager I spoke to recently who runs a small mid cap fund said that the average length of time a stock has been in her portfolio is 11 years. Um, now, actually, when you think about private equity, who typically have a three to five year time horizon and often are thinking about their exit strategies within 18 months of that investment, you know, I think you can argue, argue the toss a bit on that. One would normally suggest that the uh, expectations of shareholders is faster for PE because normally I'm looking for a five-year, three, five-year turnaround, maybe double my money and be out in that time. Um, PLCs, depending on the size of the business, you know, whether I'm looking for a, uh, a high return on my investment or I'm looking for growth. So I think it very much depends. Well, I've worked for both PE and PLC, uh, latterly PLC. Um, I would suggest actually the PE houses tend to be um, more short term. They clearly uh, enter into uh, a business as an investment and want to return on that investment. Uh, and whilst they do differ, P, different PE houses, um, generally they're more short term. If I look at some of the PLC investors, I, I chair a listed company and Many of the shareholders there have been there for quite a while. So I think the, the, the PLC versus um, private equity doesn't really matter. I think the, the good news for the, the listed company shareholders is they can get out much quicker. Mm -hmm.